Hey everybody, uh, it's Thorfinn here, and today I want to talk about Omen, right, and specifically playing him on Lotus. So a lot of people watched and liked my Gecko Unbind tutorial, and I'm going to do another Gecko tutorial, but I think Omen is a lot more played on this map, right? And I think a lot of people aren't playing Omen correctly. Right. So the thing with Omen on this map, he is just the best controller. And the reason why is because Careful. of these type of boxes, right? Careful. There is a lot, and I mean a lot, of one ways on this map. So I want to go over those um, mainly, but as well as just like things that you could do um, on the attack as well. Right? So one of the first things that you really need to understand is Omen is just can get super aggressive right you can tp on the top of this box and take this really weird off angle right which is super fun obviously it's a pretty one and done angle i use it on like eco rounds usually like if i have like a sheriff right and i'm going against like rifles just take a aggressive fight right one thing that you can do is also just tp across um the box here late in the round like for example if you know they're coming up b you can omen bind tp right pretty simple otherwise you can just walk across and pretty much just use omen aggressively right i recommend watching someone like tens angel or um redgar because they do this a lot and i think the best omen players in the world do this as well uh someone like demon one once he gets more reps on it and jogamo where they'll take these aggressive fights specifically on defense because you don't really need omen's utility on defense or his team can set him up for angles like this. He can take the angle and then just TP out, right? <laughs> as well as using the TP to entry, right? By like flashing here towards breakable and then just TPing onto an off angle here, right? So if they try to come out breakable and stop the plant, you can kill them. They come out heaven, right? Things like that. But let's sort of get to the one ways, right? So the one ways are pretty easy. This is probably where you're going to throw it from uh, the most, but you just cover going out. Boom, right? Like, they can't even crouch under it unless they're super far back, and even then they can only see your toes, and you can see their full body, right? Another one way that I think a lot of people don't throw because of its nicheness, I suppose, right? A lot of the times you're going to smoke this, but the problem with smoking this is it blocks off this stairs angle, which is a really good angle to take, right? Because you can hold here, not be exposed to this, but also just be able to see them crossing sight. So... On like a later like round, when you know they're up A, Shadows. one way on this box here, you could sit basically towards side sight, like right here, and it's a perfect one way for them to cross rubble and fight you. And they have to come towards this close angle, which you're going to see them a lot faster than if you would uh, from far away, right? From just basic, uh, just basic angle uh, ideas in this game. Right? Like, you're just going to be able to react to them faster than they can react to you, right? Um, another one way that you can throw is... Um... Cover going out. On top of the door, right? You can do it on both doors. Um, because you can do it on both doors, it uh, it's just super effective, right? Also, one, one way that you can throw that is, like pretty niche i don't throw it often is this because it just denies them taking this i like to pair this if i'm playing breakable because you can just sit here and jiggle right and they have to swing this one way so they're gonna swing close and because they have to swing close you can basically play like a cross with your stairs player right where your stairs player can peek off of you and go for a nice kill so another smoke that i think people should throw um is this one, let me check. Cover going out. Right. Now, the reason why you throw this smoke is you throw it to deny the killjoy turret, right? So if they're Careful. if they keep killjoying turret, like if they keep putting a killjoy turret on top of this box, sorry, um, you can smoke this and threaten the aggression and only have to worry about one angle, right? So you're swinging into a singular angle um, that you know, right? So as long as you're aware. It's pretty good. Come Obviously, this one's pretty out. obvious. But let's talk about attacking smokes, which I think a lot of people um, kind of mess up. So, the big thing here, right? Ever since they added Careful. this, 
they have created what is called a cross, right? A crossfire. So essentially what it means is two players are on opposite sides of an angle. And essentially the only way you can really break the crossfire is by doing this. But even then, the player here is still able to swing out and kill you, right? And just spam you through the wall. So it's super hard to break a crossfire. So what you do is you throw the omen smoke right here. So you throw the omen smoke and it's kind of a one way, right? So you can kind of see them and you can basically clear this angle by itself. The only problem with this smoke, right, is you have to make sure you throw it on top of this. So it gives them the least amount of room to hide in that smoke, right? But as long as you throw that smoke, you're really not going to have to worry about this guy. And you don't have to worry about this killjoy turret right here, which is where most killjoys place their turret. And then, obviously, like, you could smoke spawn as well. Personally, I don't like smoking spawn because a lot of the times when I'm playing Omen, I'll, you know, I'll go in and I'll be the third guy in and I'll basically just sit on this top box and hold spawn, right? Because a lot of people will dry swing this um, going into like uh, if they're playing off, right? They'll dry swing this and taking this like really weird off angle uh, is super favorable as well as just TPing up to here like on a site hit is really good. So what I like to combo this with, right, is essentially, like, this is, like, the pattern of Utilite Throw, right? So you smoke, flash, TP. And because you do that, you can get up here and take angles on this bend guy. If he, swing, if he swings out to clear your teammates, you just kill him, right? You can also clear sight this way, as well as you can jump around um, and do this. You can also just TP... Uh, you can also jump on this box on defense, by the way, if you want to take a nice little off angle. Um, but most of the time, like doing this in a retake and playing this position is super powerful, right? Because you can swing water, right? You can swing back bend here where the Careful. bomb's most likely planted. And you're just kind of super hard to kill. Like they have to swing Careful. here, which is susceptible to there. And then the only way they can really kill you is if they wrap bend right but if they wrap ben you could also just tp out from this position like basically you can go for a water kill boom get the kill tp out and now you're safe right you get a nice little kill and you can easily reposition um one thing that i think a lot of people don't understand is if you're low on numbers and you need to fight up and not let them retake throwing out. this one-way smoke is super important because it's so like it's so deep into spawn that it really makes them just waste utility, right? Because if they take this fight, it this is like one of the hardest one ways to counter because they have to swing super wide to even be able to see a glimpse of where you are um, as well. As well as it allows you to tuck here in, in this angle, um, which is really good. And keeping this position and planning Careful. like open, for example, where you can kind Careful. of be seen from mount as well and taking spawn the amount of positions you can play for that post plant is insane now on the b bomb site um personally i don't like smoking breakable um the reason why is because a lot of the times like Shadows you traveling. want smokes to usually block off like not an anticipated fight but a fight Shadows that traveling. isn't anticipated right so for example most people aren't gonna fight out of heaven so smoking it and deterring them from doing that is super important, right? This guy will probably take a dry fight rubble. So if you just throw util and try and go for the kill and take him down, I feel like that's a lot better as well as in ranked. It just works super well. So yeah, usually I just smoke Kevin, right? I smoke here. Um, there's not a lot of one ways that you can do on this bomb site. Um, I know that one thing that you can do is Cover you can smoke out. like this kind of. Uh, no, one way's the bomb. You have to throw it like deeper than Shadows I did, right? And it'll one way the bomb for you, which is which is pretty neat. Um, but yeah, uh, you can obviously throw. Uh, I really wish that like this hole was moved because Shadows it could make like a super cool one way, right? Because you just place the smoke up there, but unfortunately, um, it does not. All right, it's A site. So on A site attack, uh, it's pretty simple, right? You want to smoke stairs. Now, here's the thing, right? If you want to take A space without using a lot of util, you smoke here, right? Careful. 
And the reason why you do that is you just block off this jump spot and it blocks off information. And if you have this side, like this entire like this entire space, right, of front of A, it pushes them back onto the site as well as it threatens B, right? Because you have that link to split through. So doing this smoke at the start of the round is always pretty solid. Um, especially, like I said, Omen is just really good on this map because He's good on all three site bomb uh, maps because of his like ability to just get his smokes back. Um, one thing that you can do that I like is um, on the execute, you one-way drop. Now, the reason why I like to one-way drop is because there's something really um, annoying about this drop. And the thing that's annoying about this drop, right, is this. The reason why this is annoying is it allows you to dodge mollies like gecko molly, ko molly, viper molly. So you can't really flush this area out, which sucks. Personally, um, one thing that I'm going to bring up to my teammates that I found is successful is you molly Careful. drop, right? And if you suspect that someone's in there, right? So cause we play gecko on this map. So if you molly drop, you can actually aftershock Careful. right here with breach. And it instantly kills this guy. Like, no matter what, the guy's dead. He can't, like, if he swings out, right, he swings out into, like, an absurd off angle. Like, you can literally just sit here and jiggle it. Um, but, yeah. Also, what you can do um, is you can throw this one way, which honestly isn't that useful. Um, I mean, obviously, like, if you're sitting close, it's pretty solid. But on, like, if you're just sitting on the bomb site, it's kind of mid. Um, most of the time, you just want to throw, like, you go kind of right here uh, to be decently flush, right? It's kind of hard to get it um, perfect. Cover you have to throw it pretty close up. So, there we go. Uh, but one thing that they can do um, that I have seen some, some crack addicts do, right, is you get on the rope, right? You just sit on the rope, right? You sit on the rope. And then you wait for util, and then you jump off the rope, and you're fast dropping, essentially. Which is a pretty neat little micro play that you can do uh, if you want to do something cool. Um, if you smoke on the opposite side of the um, of this box to where the bomb is funded, it gives you a nice little one-way, essentially. You have to throw it, like, super, super on one side. Cover going um, I was just throwing it, like, inside, like this. Basically, it just gives you a one way. Like, you'll be able to see them sticking out. Um, Shadows traveling. There is, like... Like, these things that look like they could be one ways, but they're not. So, be careful for those. Um, there's a lot of times where, like, you'll sit there and you'll judge it. And you'll be like, hmm, this might not be bad. Nope, it's probably going to be shit. Um, but, yeah, that's essentially my omen guide. Um... Not really focusing on paranoids, more of just focusing on um, one ways, right? Uh, but if you want some quick paranoias, right, through here to do a B split, through here on an A split. If you're going towards B, um, you just blind rubble, right? You go all the way in this corner, you throw like this, it essentially blinds anyone trying to swing you. You can also blind up towards heaven, you just have to aim up a little bit. Um, and if you're going towards C, personally, I like to blind here, like this. Stealing sight. And uh, yeah, that's my omen guide. Please leave a like and subscribe if you want more. If you guys have more one ways or omen tech on this map that you'd like to share with me, please let me know. I love to hear all the tech. I love the little nerdy shit you can do in this game. And uh, yeah. Uh, see you guys later. Peace.